On this week's episode of Travel Waterloo, we're playing in the snow and ice and exploring winter activities. While school was out for the holidays, Zay, my daughters and I, headed out to find the best places in Waterloo for cold weather activities. Our first stop was Young Arena for lunch skate. Every Tuesday, Thursday and weekend and during holiday breaks, the ice rink is open to the public. People of all ages come to Waterloo from miles away to try the ice for themselves. We are the only skating rink within 90 miles of Waterloo, so we, we pull people from all over. And Zay wasn't the only new skater on the rink. There's all sorts of skill levels from high school hockey players or old time hockey players to brand new skaters. Getting people exposed to skating is where they usually start is here on the, on the public skate session and then they try to advance themselves whether it's youth hockey or the figure skating club um, or even the Warriors. So what did Zay think of his first time ice skating? I thought it was really fun. It, I expected it to be way harder than it actually was. And this might even be easier than roller skating. Do you think you're gonna come again? Did you have, did Definitely. You have fun? Next stop was George Wythe State Park and Hartman Reserve, both of which have miles of trails, perfect for snowshoeing, fat tire biking, and lots of other wintertime activities. Well, in the winter, a lot of people think we actually are closed, that we don't have anything going on. But at George Wythe and a lot of our other state parks, we have a lot of different activities. Ice fishing is very popular, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, uh, fat tire bikes are becoming real popular as well. Finally, my daughters and I finished the day with a classic wintertime activity, sledding. Oh, I'm so scared. The entire perimeter of Bontrager Park is sloped, making it the perfect place for sledding. For more information about the places we saw today, check out the Travel Waterloo blog at the award-winning TravelWaterloo.com and visit our YouTube channel for a look at past episodes and travel ideas. 